Okay, so here we are in beta flight. Uh, drone's already hooked up to the USB cable. So we hit connect. Um, I like to make sure that the drone is moving in the direction that you move it. Make sure that the uh, gyro is... And the uh, flight controller is uh, working correctly. And then we go into ports. Uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to come to UART 1. Uh, this is where we hook the receiver signal wire up to. Uh, it's going to be the uh, RX1 on the board on the Tiny Hawk. And you're going to click Serial RX right here. And that's going to tell the, the flight controller uh, where the receiver is. And then your VTX TBS Smart Audio is going to stay the same. It's going to be down here on UART2. So that's all you need to do right there. Um, go into configuration. Uh, you won't touch anything unless you want to, you know, change your D shot or something. But I uh, left everything the same. Um, what you want to do is you want to come down here to receiver, and you want to select serial base receiver. This is the spectrum right here, S bus, and um, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but. Um, so you'll uh, select that serial base receiver and then you want to select uh, Spectrum 2048. This is the DSMX. Uh, 2048 is DSMX. Uh, Spectrum 1024 is DSM2. So select Spectrum 2048. And that's all you have to do for the receiver. Um, you can go through here, uh, check your uh, fail safe, which is, I didn't change anything. Uh, drop and then you want to go into uh, you want to check the receiver and make sure everything's working so um, first thing you're gonna have to do is especially if you're going from a FR Sky receiver you have to most of the time you have to come up here to the channel map and you have to select spectrum Bruckner or Junior. Your transmitters uh, for Spectrum and the transmitter for FR Sky are uh, different on their channels, the way they communicate. So, this is throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder. Um, if you don't change the channel map, everything's going to be backwards here. Uh, your throttle is going to control your roll and vice versa. It's going to be all messed up. So, you have to change this and then you have to hit save down here. Until you hit save, it's not going to take, and it's not going to show you that it fixed it. Uh, I had to learn that. I was like, I changed it, and then I was like, oh, let's see, you know, and it was still backwards and all that. So you have to change that, and you have to hit save. So you hit save, and then also, the thing about Spectrum, this is what bothered me when I got into drones. Uh, Spectrum throttles and all their inputs are really weird. So you see I have, like, 1228 to 1772. It's really weird. It's not. It's not like at first sky will be like even. Like it'll be like, you know, 1600 to 1800 or something. Spectrum's always got these weird numbers, and uh, the throttle is usually a big problem. And what happens is the throttle on the Spectrum transmitter is way too high for drones. So this throttle before I changed it, it was actually up here it was like uh, it was like 1070 or something like that and um, so what you have to do is you have to go into your transmitter and I am going to show you that right now I'm gonna try and do this so let me show you the transmitter here I'm gonna show you this real quick what you want to do is you want to go into control setup. Now, in travel right here, you have got to go to altitude, which is your throttle. And you see here, you have to select this. Uh, you have to select this right here, and you have to change the value here. Um, I had to bring this all the way back down to a negative 148, as you see over here. Negative 148. You have to um, you have to crank the uh, throttle back because if you leave it up here, 
if you leave it up, it is um, going to it's going to be too high for the drone. So the flight controller thinks that you're actually flying. So it won't arm, it won't do anything. So you have to set this down to negative 148. And this is on a uh, DX9, by the way. But um, this is what you'll do with the Spectrum Transmitter. Um, so once you do that, uh, you just go back into the main and you'll be good. Uh, everything will work. And, it, and what you have done there is you have uh, reduced the throttle. As you can see here now, it's at 996. So you reduce the throttle value. Um, you can do this um, in uh, the CLI. And I'm not going to show you that because I'm actually um, not that familiar with it. Um, but I will, um, I will start um, researching that a little more and... Uh, maybe I'll throw a video. I'll throw a video out there about how you can um, change the values in the uh, CLI if you want to do it that way. Um, I I have done it both ways, but like I said, I don't want to like try and show you guys because I don't feel comfortable. Like I know enough about that to uh, show you in the CLI. So um, if I do get some hard facts, I will uh, show you in the video. Um, there are some great videos out there where they um, people show you how to. Um, do that in the CLI so but you know just to get you off the ground um, with the spectrum transmitter you can go ahead and just change it in in the transmitter like I showed you and it'll be great so that's all you really need to do um, you should be ready after that just go into and also change your modes you know set up your uh, aux channels um, that's going to be different so it's not too too bad um, you just do that and um, this is how I have mine set up, beeper, um, angle, horizon, and acro, and your arm switch. So that's it. You should be good to go after that. Um, let me um, let me actually show you. I want to show you this too. Uh, let's see here. So when you're changing modes on a spectrum transmitter, you have to go down here to system setup. And say yes. And then you have to go down to channel assign. Now here's all your channels, how they're set up. What you want to do is you want to go past here. And you want to go to next. And then here's where you can assign your switches. This is what I love about Spectrum. It's very, very straightforward. Um, you can assign your switches from here. So here's uh, switch A, switch B. So there's uh, 5, 6, and 7, and 8. So... Uh, one thing I didn't mention is this uh, full speed receiver has eight channels. And so this is how you uh, hook up your uh, switches. That's how you assign your uh, channels to a switch on your spectrum. It's real simple. You just do that and you just change it. Um, I'll just show you. There's B, C, D, and you can go through all the different throttle channel. And it goes to the R knob and all that stuff. So those are different switches on your uh, transmitter. Um, so that is pretty much it so that's how you would do that um so i again i hope this uh, video uh helps uh some of you guys out there if you're uh, trying to do this uh trying to get your tiny hawk to fly again or if you want to just use a better receiver you know if you think that spectrum is a better receiver then go for it do it hopefully this will help you out um I'll be uh, posting supply videos with the uh, Spectrum transmitter, uh, flying the Tiny Hawk. And uh, so I hope you come back and see that. Uh, again, I appreciate you guys watching. See you later.